We all know what this is. It's the Subaru SCR, a legend all on its own. In fact, the original car, the WRX, built its name on the rally stage, standing for World Rally Experimental. The concept, pretty simple. Big turbocharged engine up front, all wheel drive. Now we know it has heaps of traction. However, driving this thing fast is actually quite a challenge. So in order to learn how to do that, we're gonna employ a WRC legend all of our own. And that's Chris Atko Atkinson, former WRC driver for Subaru and currently kicking ass in World Rallycross. Chris? Chris, I need my life insurance checked. Safe, mate, with me. <laughs> how are you, mate? Good to see Good you. To see you. Look, before we got here, I went out and I, um, I set a pretty poor lap time of 56.9 in this, and that's a flying lap. I know we were doing, what, 53 standing start before, so yeah. I seem to struggle getting this thing to turn around, so I'm hoping you can help me out today. I think most people do. They're a, a tricky car to drive, especially on high grip surfaces. Um, they're designed for low grip, slippy conditions where you can slide them around a bit, so on, on high grip surfaces you've really got to be patient, and I know you love that. Oh uh, yeah, I love being patient. Alright, I reckon we jump in, let's go for a couple laps and you can tell me how to get this thing to go faster. Yeah, let's see what you're doing and see if we can make you faster. i got to go that way. <laughs> Cross <out. laughs> So, we're in the um, Lakeside Driver Training Center here in Brisbane. Um, and this is a great place to learn how to drive because it's quite technical and it's quite short. But all I've been doing is understeering. Yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> I've noticed that. You are, you're quite um, greedy, I'd say. Like, so you... you My wife would say this. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to get on the throttles too early in the corner, basically. You're not letting the car get turned. So then your corner drags on too long. Right. And now the thing with a, an all-wheel drive car naturally it's going to push a bit and, and what we do with the race cars is then set up roll bars and spring packages to overcome that. Right. Um, but being a standard car there's some safety element involved so Subarus do understeer a little bit yeah. if you do drive them like you are. So <laughs> basically you want to get the car turned so you can use the traction. Like the traction in this car is so, its big asset. Okay so when you say get the car turned and then use the traction. Yep so go down to this end straight down here. Yeah. And, um, and you want to get the wheels straight as quick as possible. And you don't do that by making the corner too long. So what I'd like to see is be patient, but then get the car turned almost more than you want, and then you can straighten the wheel. Oh, right. And then you can quickly go to full throttle. The quicker you can go to full throttle, and the quicker you can end your corner, your straights become longer, and you can take advantage of the traction. Now, now that's pretty normal for all racing. Yeah. But in an all-wheel drive car, on dry condition, that wants to understeer, it's even more important. So you're saying this is the same corner. So turn more. Wait, wait, get off the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as you go on the throttle there, the understeer is going to come. Okay, okay. So you've got to let the car roll through the corner. I feel a bit. like I'm losing speed if I don't accelerate. There's always compromise. You've got to, you've got to give something so away. Turn more so than wait, I thought. But don't touch the throttle no, so no, early. No, no, no. That's going to be a hard habit to Yeah, because as soon as you touch the throttle, uh, a couple of things happen. One, the weight transfers, the yeah. nose lifts. So you get less traction. Yeah, the less traction. And you're asking so much of the tyre because you've still got a lot of steering input. Okay, okay. And I'm you're gonna, trying I'm to. Turn. Not touch this. Well, I'm going so slow now. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. The, the theory still works. So okay. get, and now go full throttle. And, a, right. and it was at very slow speed, but the co you've got to get the concept okay. like right first. So same here. Get the car, get the nose in, turn, turn again, turn more. I'm now go. Turn more? Yeah. Now, isn't it understeer you though? Are you trying no, to... No, no. Because, because you weren't on the throttle. If you got on the throttle, it will understeer. Okay. Turn, get it in. You might need a little bit of throttle, but just 5%. That's it. Wait, lift, get the car turned, and see, did it understeer then? No. no it it turned. Actually felt quicker too. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. I went slower to go quicker. Yeah, exactly. So turn, even turn a bit more. Now go. Right. And see how you could open the wheel then, which was actually really well done. So if you understand that concept of the patience to get the car turned, not being greedy in the middle of the corner, like see, there you got understeer because you went on the <laughs> throttle too much. Oh, I just feel like I'm going really, really slow. I need to carry, uh, do I need uh, to carry more speed into that beforehand? Yeah, basically, yeah, that's, yeah. that's where your time will come there. But one way to get around it in tight corners is um, slide the car in a bit, which we do obviously in rally and on, on gravel surfaces. What you'll see is, the reason we set the car up sideways before the corner is to get the wheels straight on exit. And you look at all good WRC pitches, and 99% of the time, the wheels are dead straight even in the middle of the corner because you, where's your speed? Your speed's going forward down the next straight. So right. the quicker you can get the wheels straight, 
even if you've got to give something away in the beginning, the faster your time will be. You basically can't accelerate after wheel is turned. Otherwise so, it's just, so, just, just understeers. So for me, like you've got to think of a, a general picture of grip and, and it's not exactly right, but say there's a certain amount of grip out there and call, you've got 100% straight braking yeah. and 100% straight acceleration. Once you're turning, you can only do so much acceleration. So say you've got 50% steering, I can only go 50% acceleration. Say I've got 100% steering, I can go 0% acceleration. Right. So if you're steering in the middle of the corner here, you can't go on the throttle. But now you start to open the wheel, you can go on the throttle. Right, okay. So it's uh, almost like a graph of, of uh, a grip. And no acceleration. Can wait, wait, wire? wait, wait. Turn, now go. And straighten the wheel. Trust me. <laughs> it's right, exactly well. how we drive a GRC car. And in that, with 600 plus horsepower, it's even more important. Because the greedier you are, the less time you have accelerating on the straight. And, and your time's on the straight. So what, what about braking into a corner? Are you turning while you're braking? Yeah, or? so same thing happens again. Let's cruise up here so we can okay. just explain it a bit more. So braking is very similar that you want to release the brake pedal as you increase the steering. And now if you try and ask full brake and try and turn at the same time, what's going to happen? It's not going to do very much. So it's, it's going to go straight. straight. It's straight on, yeah. yeah. So, Ideally, when you're braking hard, you want to be be dead straight. Like that's the best case scenario. Right. And as you start to turn in, you want to release the brake pedal. Now, with a all-wheel drive car, this is really critical because you want to keep the weight on the nose. So brake hard, but you still and, turn while you're braking. Right? But as you release the brake, you then you start it. to turn in. Okay. And you can if you can keep the nose down as you're releasing the brake and turning in, then the car's going to turn better. And, and that's why we, and we want to stay in that situation until we get the car fully turned and then when we can start opening the wheel out, then we can go on the throttle. Okay, okay. What about, is that, there's a figure of eight back there for anyone that can't, can't tell. Um, going into it, is, is, you know, obviously you're doing a big half circle there yeah. um, to get out here. How, where, how does that braking point work for that one? Uh, so, so imagine that you are steering there, so you can't go 100% brake. So I brake calm the car down going into it Here we go. So and then when I get a little flat break, section yeah. there I brake harder and then I release the brake smoothly but I don't go on the throttle I try and roll as far as the I whole can way around here. as far as I can because that's that's where your speed is in releasing the brake rolling as far as you can and then I make an extra turn at the end to try and make the straight longer and I'll sacrifice in the corner there giving something away to gain a lot more and especially when this car's got so much grip off the corner if you've got another corner immediately after, you don't you, you give away something right. uh, to gain more on the next one. But in a situation like that, you want to open the wheel as quick as possible and then go go straight. Keep the nose down in there. Oh. Can I show you a lap? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably the best way to do this. All right, let me pull up here. We're going to swap around. All right, now we got um. Chris behind the wheel because our lesson, my original plan was that um, he was going to sit here and teach me, but clearly the frustration has got to him, <laughs> yeah. so now he's going to teach me from Kicked that seat. Out. too scared. <laughs> no, it's, it's all good, you're driving well. It's just, seriously, it's the details with you. It's not like uh, you're doing anything majorly wrong. It's just understanding that it's okay to give something away to gain something back. Okay, all right. Um, here, your line's a little bit, for me, I just roll here and just go there and I can roll. I'm doing nothing. Wait, wait, oh, wait, way turn, far out and, then, and then I'm straight oh, the right, car. Okay. And I did wait. nothing. Yeah, yeah I was you were about a second quicker. Same here, get the car turned in. Now I'm straightening the wheel and I'm using the all-wheel drive. Yeah. And we're accelerating, going forward, saving time. Yeah. So the game here, I just let the car do, roll. That's a little bit slow, but... I get a good Quick exit. On the way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it seems boring. Yeah. But it's, this is hard. Uh, so you're going out, coming in, staying yeah, here. Because the time is here. Yes. The time's not back there, so I'm willing to give away in the right hander to gain coming out That's of this true. left hander. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, there's always compromise. F1, anything. You, you see them give away something to gain somewhere else. Right. <laughs> so, like I said, mo I'll, I'll do I'll do what most people do. I'll do the wrong thing. So if you come in here and turn and go on the throttle, yeah. how long's my corner? 
Oh, it goes on forever. Not faster. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it's not faster on the clock. Because that's what you think fast is. I know, right? Cause and because you do this. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, wow, I'm so fast. <laughs> It's, it's just wasting time, it's overheating the tyres, it kills the entrance onto the straight. Yeah, yeah. Calm that down, get the car straight. And I'll show you a little little trick I use sometimes uh, with an all-wheel drive car, even uh, on tarmac. You just use the handbrake a little bit to... Um... Uh, so for the record, he's just turned off old driver aids, which I would not recommend any of you do, unless you also happen to drive for factory Subaru team. It's the only way to do it. So if I just give a little nip on the handbrake here. Oh yeah, I could do that, no problem. Then, then you can go straight quicker. Yeah. So so I do that sometimes in the GRC car. Just pull the handbrake a little bit. That was a bit too much. <laughs> Look good. I get the car straight and then go and use the, the traction like that. And then, so that's fast for me. That, that is fast. That, that feels way faster around yeah, the corner. Because you're rotating the car and then you can get the car going straighter, quicker. Did you learn anything? I did. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I've kind of worked out that I'm doing pretty much everything wrong uh, in terms of asking way too much in the corner, going way too fast into half the corners, and accelerating at the wrong times. That's about sums it up. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Apart from that, you're fantastic. <laughs> yeah, fa so. I'm, I'm next on the w WRC driver list. Yeah. Yeah, 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 just down the order a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, basically you're too greedy early, in the corner early mm -hmm. and, and that causes the understeer, it causes the car to lift, causes the all-wheel drive transmission to push. So what you want to do is get the car turned mm -hmm. earlier and sooner and get the car straight quicker. Okay. And that's where you can use the, the 2.5 litre turbo in a straight line yep. for all-wheel drive traction. It's going to go straight. But if you get on the power in the corner, you're just going to make this big long arc, this corner that goes on forever. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's swap places and do some time laps and see if I can beat my uh, 56 point, embarrassing 56.9 lap time. Hopefully I can beat that. <laughs> <laughs> then it will be embarrassing. Well, if you can't beat that, um, yeah. We're in trouble. We're in okay. trouble. No, I'm sure you'll do better now, but it, it takes a little bit of time to, to change your, your fine motor skills. It's muscle memory that you've learned over years. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure we can get you going much quicker. Okay, let's do it. Try and teach him. Nail boys. Come on. Right oh. I felt like I was going pretty slow, but there is a grin on his face, so let's see how it went. And I um your grin tells me that I might have done okay. Mate, you did awesome. That was unreal. I gotta shake your hand. Like one and a half seconds really? quicker. That's pretty, and I bet that's... it felt slow. It felt slow. Especially that corner, the way you told me to do it. I felt like I was having a nana nap in the middle. <laughs> but that, that's racing sometimes. You've got to calm everything down. And I'm, I'm impressed. Like one and a half seconds in 10 minutes of training just yeah. to know how to drive an all-wheel drive car. All right. Now, I have warmed up the brakes for you. There was a bit of smoke before. I did a few cool down laps, but it looks like it's still smoking. So I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you the car with a disadvantage. I want to see what you can do. Let's see. I, th I think it's going to be close. You did well. <laughs> With a time of 54.09, the bastard was still one and a half seconds quicker than me, and he didn't even stop to say goodbye. He just had a little bit more fun. 